if you could date any fictional character for Valentine's Day, who would it be? Christian Grey. Christian Grey, uh, Batman. <laughs> Dude, your answer threw me off that like- <laughs> Why did you <laughs> shut- Is there something you want to talk about? I meant that girl, like- <laughs> Is that a thing? Yeah, it is a thing, but like your answer just threw me off because I was thinking like cartoon and you said like, you know, a f <laughs> not like a cartoon fictional character. And I'm like- oh. I know your answer. I, I even know your answer. What's my answer? Shigo. Dude, I was, li I was literally thinking that- like before, I know. that's crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I was supposed to say I was supposed to say that, but your answer threw me off. So then I said Batman. I was like, shit, who was I supposed to think of? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why would you say Batman? <laughs> I don't know. Batman would probably be a terrible date too. Yeah, but yeah. also Shamir, I don't know if you understand this, but he's a boy. <laughs> he's a man, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like I answer Lizzie McGuire or Hillary Duff for literally every answer, yeah. and I did not this time. Yeah, I because up. it was a girl. Should we restart the podcast? No, I'm kidding. No, absolutely not. <laughs> oh my gosh, you said Christian Gray. Isn't he like abusive? And. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Just kidding. <laughs> but, um. Yeah. No. Like, that's like every girl's dream man. And not because I personally think that Christian Grey would be that attractive, but that was my introduction to a hot man. Like, you didn't think men were hot before that? Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't understand, like, I didn't have that concept of a, of a guy like that until I started reading Fifty Shades of Grey. And I was like, whoa, how, men be crazy. How old were you when you, like, started reading it? Uh, I was probably like in my early 20s and okay. and like to be honest I had never even known what a spicy book was it was just a popular book I didn't truly understand what 50 shades of gray was yeah. so I started reading it and I was hooked I was like this shit goes crazy so I went to Barnes and Nobles to buy the second book and I asked the lady for help I was like hey like can you show me where like 50 shades darker is or whatever and she just starts screaming in the lot in the barnes and nobles and she was like i just don't know why you would even want to read that it's barnes. and i was like <gasps> wait wait why is she like book shaming you why are you book shaming me what if that was my thing <laughs> what if i wanted to do that yeah like i for me i would always think like you know i don't know what they're called booksellers like at barnes and nobles but like they should be the friendliest people out of any retail why store. are you not advocating for this tell me to buy 50 shades darker and like the third book whatever it's called but after she said that i like couldn't i like kind of like shriveled up and died and then like i put my head down and i was like let me get my slip book and go <laughs> like <laughs> she was probably like oh she was probably like a book elitist like oh this is not like true fiction this is just like this is ruining the book culture, you know? She's like an English major and she's like, this is not literature. <laughs> this is not literature. <laughs> That's wild. But like, I'm sure if she said, if they had it, like, like if Shakespeare was like bust down Tatiana, like she'd be all about it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> okay. I want to ask this question also. Is the books like better? Are the books better than the movies? I don't think I could even watch the second. Was there a second movie? I think there was. I think is it isn't it like a trilogy? Is it a whole trilogy or is it just yeah? A, yeah. I I didn't really care for it because okay, this is going to be revealing, but like <laughs> there's it was just like too white for me on screen. You oh, know, gotcha, gotcha. But like when you're reading, you can like imagine different exactly. Races. Gotcha. But not even like different races. It, they were just <laughs> raceless. Oh, they were. No, they were they were white, yeah. but like in well, as yeah, I'm yeah. reading it, I wasn't constantly reminded of the fact that they were white. But then watching it, it was just like I I do not relate. Yeah, yeah. Like when when I was reading Harry Potter, I thought he was like Daisy like the whole time. So really, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're like the wand is really for mixing masala. <laughs> uh, but that's dope. Um, but yeah, I wanted to bring that question up because it was Valentine's Day, and mm. um. 
obviously the podcast loves your stories on Valentine's Day. Did you have like any stories uh, relating to Valentine's Day? Um, do I have stories or the lack thereof <laughs> is the real question. <laughs> um, let me ask you first. How was your Valentine's Day, Shamir? My Valentine's Day was terrible. Um, I saw one of the worst movies of all time. Oh, no. <laughs> so, what did you watch? So I'm, a, I'm a huge Spider-Man fan, right? Uh -huh. And so yesterday, there was a new Spider-Man movie, but like filled with all girls, right? And it has Sid Sydney Sweeney. And I'm like, oh. oh, right? Dakota Johnson, 50 Shades of Grey. Isn't that crazy? So I'm like, all right, bet. And then there's two other girls in that movie. And so I was like, all right, let me watch, you know, this like Spider-Man-esque movie. But with girls, it'll be perfect. You know, it's got these amazing actresses and whatnot. They're not amazing, but like good looking act actresses. Right. And so then I heard bad things about this movie. It was like, you know, it, it had like 10, 15 percent on Rotten Tomatoes. I literally went in there and I came out and I was like, bro, that was one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. What made it so bad? The the dialogue was so like cheesy. It had like it didn't know what movie a type of was. And you know, like if anybody wears like a costume or whatnot, like I love superheroes and whatnot. So if they're jumping around fighting, like I'm good, right? That didn't mm. even happen. It was like they advertised them in like the suits and whatnot. I'm like, bet Sid Sydney Sweeney in a suit. She was in it yeah. for like a minute. In a two hour oh. movie. In a two hour Well, so then she can't have her tits out if she's in a Spider-Man costume, and Sydney Sweeney is known for those beautiful tits. And there was nothing. There was none. There's not, none. No, none. No redeeming quality. Like, <laughs> like I told my guy friends, I was like, "Yo, that movie was so bad." They were like, "Oh, but like you know, Sydney Sweeney's in it, right? So it should be good." Like, I'll just watch for her. I was like, "Bro, she's like, one, she's barely in it. Two, like, she plays like oh. a nerd, and dude, she's not like a nerd. Like, she's she's not, she's a, not nerd. a nerd, you know." And stuff like that. But the dialogue was super bad. I had no idea how it connected to anything. I didn't know what, like, the point was. Things didn't make sense. So it was really, it was really bad. And then I also tried to, the, I watched in a, uh, I don't know if you, let, like, watch movies in a, you know those luxury movie theaters? Yeah. I tried one. And, oh. And, like, I don't know. I didn't have a good experience. You really showed up for Valentine's Day in a luxury movie experience, huh? Yeah, and it was it was not a great experience. It didn't give. It didn't give. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still trying to understand the lore behind Sydney Sweeney and Jacob Alordi. I watched Saltburn. Okay, um, what'd you think? Weird, so weird. I was like, I was like putting my fingers in between my toes and curling them. That's how <laughs> weird it was. <laughs> Are you gonna ever look at bathtubs the same? Now I know how I should be using a bathtub. No. I should be. <laughs> After a man gets out of the bathtub, I will go and just drink the bath water. Oh, God. <laughs> I was like, sounds like a good idea. Like, thank you for the idea. I just, I never knew where it was going. Um, yeah. But I think more than anything, oh, now I understand the whole Jacob Elordi's bath water where they're selling candles saying that. Yeah. Because they're selling candles that say Jacob Elordi's bathwater, and I didn't understand what that was all about. And now I'm like, what does it smell like? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. But I don't, again, I, I think Jacob Elordi's, like, cool. He's, like, cool yeah. looking. But he's, like, I don't understand the lore behind him and Sydney Sweeney right now. Like, they're not, like, they're not, like, an obvious Zac Efron, you know? Mm-hmm. There's like a little twist in there. Yeah, yeah. And, but I think that's what the Gen Z is like. They're, they don't need that like typical like, you know, look and actor. Mm -hmm. They're kind of like different in a way. I know what you mean, but. Okay, pop off Gen Z. We yeah. love inclusivity. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so speaking about Valentine's Day, I got three happy Valentine's Days yesterday and no flowers. <laughs> no flowers. <None. laughs> Okay, I got three Happy Valentine's Day and a Hope You're Good from my ex. Oh, did that feel good that, though? Hope You're Good. There was no Happy Valentine's Day attached. Okay, so it was, Where, it was just a text that just said Hope You're Good. Hope You're Good. <laughs> I feel like that's equivalent. I feel like that's equivalent. The bar he tried, is on the floor and men are in hell. You guys bring a shovel. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, how can you go any lower? It's like there's literally words made for you to say. Yeah. Think <clears throat> that. <laughs> no, but like, look, he could have he could have texted you the day before saying, "Hope you're good." Day after, hope you're good. But well, to be fair, it was the day before, but at night. Mm, so Is he, that not the same thing? <laughs> I think it's similar because like he's thinking about you, <clears throat> mm -hmm. but he doesn't want to be like fully there because he might, it might feel wrong. Okay. This is a message to any man that wants to half ass anything. <laughs> Get the fuck out. Okay. <laughs> like take your half ass and leave. Like nobody needs you to be like happy. Where's the Valentine's Day? <laughs> Where's the, Where's the <laughs> like finish your sentence, finish your thought. Anyways, the other three men that sent me um, a happy Valentine's Day did not send me flowers because I am currently, as you know, last week I was on the cruise and I stayed for an additional week in Miami. That's where I am right now. That's why we're on this video call here yeah, video call. and not in person. Wait, wait, wait. Before you go on, um, I just oh. want to say Frost is not here. <laughs> Oops. Frost is not here um and yeah he's, he's swimming with the penguins right yeah he's on his trip to alaska so everyone um say we hate you frost or like i don't know say something where like he's not missed you know um mm, like don't freeze too bad yeah don't freeze too bad <laughs> uh, also be like this is the best episode ever without frost you know um, yeah, yeah, which might not be a lie because la last week was a tough, watch. tough listen. Yeah, Amber received some negative criticism and from herself as well. Um, she has some negative criticism towards last week episode. I think Frost and I really had a blast on that episode uh, because that's how we talk. You know, that's how like we talk normally. We just like yap, you know, we, about mm -hmm. things that we like. I'm sure, you know, the listeners, they're not used to that because we kind of toned down the yapping and we let Amber yap. So now <laughs> this is... I think with the three of us, there's an equal amount of yapping going on. Mm. Maybe not equal. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I pushed it too far. But I will say that I was super excited to listen to the podcast because I love like, I love watching like boys be boys, yeah. you know, when we had Salman on the podcast. I loved just like I, I was controlling the cameras that day and I just kept it on the three view because I just thought it was so adorable. So I was really looking forward to it. But I think that um, watching it last week, I'm not going to lie, I did watch it in double speed um, just because I was like, uh, I think somebody sent me a video uh, where they they were like talking to the video and they're recording the screen. They're like, they're talking about Avatar for the last 15 minutes and it hasn't even come out yet. Right. Yeah. And then they like walked into the other room and then they sent me another video like 10 minutes later. And he's like, they're still going. <laughs> and I was, like, I was like, watching double speed. What are you doing? Yeah. Um, but nonetheless, I still appreciated it. And I thought it was still adorable. Um, I hope you're feeling better because you were sick. Yeah, I was sick. So now I'm good. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, it was it was sad because like I'm sure the energy would have been different if we we're in person. But I agree. That's just, I agree. That's just the product that uh, and we were happy with it. So. Yeah, yeah, as you should be. Yeah. It's stand by it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so you now, at the time you were on a cruise, and then you were like, hey, if you guys do online again, I can be part of it. And then Frost and I's scheduling did not work out. So then we we're like, Frost was like, hey, how about you guys both do it? And we we're like, let's do it. And so here we are. Amber is in Miami. Uh, so yeah, how was the cruise travel? So. <clears throat> I was saying that I'm in Miami and speaking about Valentine's Day, you know, I, I didn't get the flowers, but I just feel like if these three men really wanted to like be number one, they should have figured out where I was and sent me flowers. <laughs> have your, they should have like stalked you or like had your location. Figure it out. <laughs> Yo, not I called my mom at some point and yeah. I was like, did I get any flowers to the house? And she's like, are you expecting any? I was like, no. But I, I just wonder if I'm surprised. <laughs> I, I, I just want to say, like, Amber, you let us know, like, all your, like, vacation plans, like, months in advance. And, like, mm -hmm. you travel here and there. And, like, even knowing where you're going to be, I, like, still forget, like, where you're going to be at what time. 
So for mm-hmm. these guys, I can imagine they're just like gonna have to do some like echolocation geo like go out of their way to like figure out where you are. So you know, here's the thing, Shamir. You might not be able to keep up with like the plans you and Frost. I heard this little kiki that you guys had last week about not really knowing <laughs> where I am. But the reality is if y'all gave a shit, then yeah. you would know. And that's okay that you don't give a shit. You know, it's like whatever. You just need to know if I'm going to be able to be there for the podcast or not. Right. But for these men, they should give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, hello. So, yeah, no flowers, but that's okay. Uh, instead, I did receive lies. You received um, lies. I received lies on the cruise. M- much cheaper than flowers. Uh, <laughs> oh, no? <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're not wrong. Um, yeah, so the cruise was really uh, interesting. I haven't been on a cruise in over 10 years. I went when I was like 16. And I had a good time, you know. I didn't realize like the type of people that are on cruises. And let's just say people on cruises don't care, period. Like about anything or just like life? They just don't care. Okay. Maybe... <laughs> I've, n- I've never been on a cruise, but let, okay. m- let me imagine what type of people there are. Okay. O- really old couples. Okay. Yes. Um, Maybe like a family with like their kids and like they all like mm-hmm. separate and go into their separate things and they, they just like vibe wherever. Yeah. And then maybe like a couple that's like newly married. Y- yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> And that's all I can think of. Like, I don't know why anyone else would go. Yeah, well, (laughs) there's another group that you're missing, which is birthday groups. Oh, okay. A lot of people go for birthdays. And not only do they go for birthdays, I'm not making this up. Want to know how I know? that They're wearing matching shirts. (laughs) When you go in on the day of the cruise, there is a group of people, like, and there's probably like 50 groups of people, I'm not exaggerating, wearing matching t-shirts that say like, Annabelle's 30th birthday bash. Um, and like, you know, they're like all wearing the same thing, same colors, uh, whatever. And then like, as the days progress, people are wearing the same shirts, like to like be about this birthday thing. So right now we're in Aquarius season. So most of the people on this boat were Aquariuses. And that's why I was there. One of my homegirls last year in February had hit me up and she was like, hey, do you want to like go on a cruise for my birthday? Like, I'd really like for you to be there. And I was like, absolutely. Um, and the price that she told me, I was like, yeah, for seven days, that's literally nothing. Um, and so by the time that I went on this cruise, it was free because I already paid it last year. That's a free cruise. <laughs> Girl math. <laughs> <laughs> like that is I, I, I was. I was cruising for free. And so I went on this cruise. When I tell you nobody cares, like everything is hanging. Everything is wobbling. Um, And there's some people who, there's like a type of cruiser. And it's like they have zero desire for exploration. They have a desire for rotting. Okay. And that's okay. That's a different type of vacation, like where you go to rot. And I respect that. Personally, my choice of rotting is on a resort on a resort, like an all-inclusive resort. And when, when you mean Love by rotting, rot you're just like chilling, like l- just relaxing. Eating and laying in the sun, eating and laying in the sun, and then like doing some of the themes. In fact, there were people on the cruise who had been there for three weeks. When the boat docks, they just stay on and go for the next one and the next one and the next one. And they just, they're going to the same places too. Mm. And they're like, not everybody gets off at the port. So we did stop at Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, St. Martins and stuff. But as the days went on, I was like, okay, like, you know, I was like, I was like, kind of like fantasizing, like, is it going to be is my husband on this boat? You know, he wasn't. He wasn't? Why? He, he just, they're just, it was just not <laughs> there. Right. But what, 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 why think, though? Isn't it, isn't it like the perfect place maybe, you know, to like find, to fall in love? Yeah, to fall in love. You're like, we're on this boat together. And then like you do the Titanic mm-hmm. in the front. And then <laughs> <laughs> the Titanic on a cruise. Yeah. Um, I will say that they're just the fish were 
flopping. They're not fishing. They were they were flopping. They're flopping. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wait, wait, just... wait. Is it like because the type of people that go on cruises or there were just nobody like there that you found? That you the know? types of people that go on cruises for sure. Except there was a group of like Caribbean, Indo-Caribbean people and like brown to brown. I was just kind of like observing them the whole time. And I just feel like, you know, when there's like other brown people in the room, you just kind of notice them a little bit more. Yeah. They're on your radar a little bit. And we just kept running into each other. And so finally, the last night, it was like a bunch of Indo-Caribbean people. And then like, there was like a couple, right? So I get out the elevator and I see them. And I finally go up to them. I was like, hey, I, uh, how are you? I just want to introduce myself. I feel like we know each other at this point. And they were like, yeah, we've been seeing you everywhere. How are you? Like, we were going to come and talk to you, but like, we thought you were doing your thing. And I'm like talking to this couple and... I was like, um, are you guys Indo-Caribbean? They were like, yeah. I was like, oh, cool. All my friends swear they're Caribbean because we go to Caribbean festivals and things like that. And so they were like, yeah, like we are. I was like, cool. And me being where I am in life, I just be yapping. I just be yapping. So I was like, oh, yeah, okay, cool. Well, you know, I'm looking for a Caribbean, a Muslim Caribbean husband. So let me know. I just said that. I don't I don't know why. I just Damn, said that. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm looking for like a Caribbean Muslim husband. Let me know if you know somebody. And um there were and and the girl points at her boyfriend. I realize this is her brother. Oh. And I just look at him and he blushes. And I was like, <gasps> But not you. Oh. <laughs> the night <laughs> no we ended up actually talking for like hours but um something that i came to realize is that shamir i'm too old to be revealing my age oh, before yeah. i find out these guys as ages because one thing about men is they're gonna lie okay i had revealed that i was 29 early and um we were, when we were talking we probably we were talking from like 1 a.m to 5 a.m just yapping away um, till the boat docked. Oh, okay. Wow. And in that, he was like, Yeah, I was, I was like, How old are you? He was like, I'm 27. And I was like, Ooh, you're a baby. He's like, Wait, wait, like, don't say I'm a baby. Like, you know, whatever. Like, I'm not a baby. Like, I, like, don't, don't count me out. I was like, All right, I hear you. And so we dock. And then the next day, he, I was like, we had a conversation about how long he'll be in Miami for before he leaves to Toronto. And he was going to be here till the following day. So we decided to meet up for dinner mm. that same night. Yeah. So we're at dinner and we're chatting and I'm like, oh my God, I kind of have butterflies. Like, this is kind of nice, you know? For a baby? Like, oh. For a baby. <laughs> I'm a cradle robber. <laughs> And so I'm like chatting it up with him. And then now again, I just be yapping. So I asked him, I was like, how much is your annual salary? Oh my God, dude. Out of nowhere. I looked at him dead in the eyes. I was like, what's your annual salary? And he just tells me, he just literally answers a question and gives me a full breakdown of where all of his money comes from. I was like, okay, cool. Were you impressed? Were you like, "Uh, not that much? Yeah. Okay. It was cool. It was cool. I was like, okay, cool. He's making a little bit more than me. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Um, so if you're babying, baby off. <laughs> <laughs> Reverse sugar mama. Um, and then he goes, uh, I was like, you know, I really appreciate you being honest. You didn't have to tell me that at all. So I appreciate that. And he goes, uh, while we're being honest, I did lie to you about one thing and I did want to clear it up. I was like, okay. What's up? And he was like, I'm actually a year younger than what I told you. He takes out his license and he shows me. And I was like. Uh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. 26, right? Uh-huh. Now he's 26. <laughs> 26. And uh-huh. it's just one year difference. Yes. Now he's it's one year difference. I remembered he was on the cruise because it was also his birthday. Oh, so he was 25. He was 25. He just turned 26. <laughs> <laughs> How you basically elevated two years to tell me that. Yeah. You know? And I was like, damn, these butterflies need to not butterfly anymore because this sucks. 
Um, but yeah, so not only did I not get flowers for Valentine's Day, I also got lied to. Honestly, I mean, was he like good in every other department? He didn't have abs. <laughs> 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 but everything else is good. He's just too young and doesn't have abs. Yeah. Honestly, that's kind of everything else that's is- kind of sad at 25. Like, I feel like you should be at peak male performance, you know? like come on because like you know and but he but it was sad because he kept asking me he was like he's like why are you interested in me like you're like Uh, way out of my he was like you're way out of my league and i was like am i (laughs) like blind blind? like maybe i've just completely like i think the cruise fucked me up Mm. like there was no good contender so the one person that was like decent i was like Dang. I'll put, was, you know, was he attractive? He is attractive. Yeah, I think so. But I think that like not everybody would think that. Gotcha. Gotcha. He's not like traditionally attractive. However, I will say other people that I'm talking to, you know, you can just like wash some clothes on their abs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this, might, this might not be it. But I will say he's super amazing. Um, and we'll see how it goes, I guess. Let's oh, see if I'll make a trip to Toronto. There's still like connection. Yeah, I'm remember I'm delusional. So let's see how it goes. Uh he has a full blown Toronto accent, which I thought was a myth. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. But yeah. Is he anyway, a Toronto F boy, you think? No, he's like a nerd. Oh gotcha. Yeah, I know. I picked wow. a nerd. So he's, he's like into technology and shit, like cryptocurrency and shit. Damn, Amber, what the heck? You were blinded, bro. I know. <laughs> what, I don't know what the crew is doing. What if he has a sword? Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's I have to bring that over. up again. <laughs> I saw you showing off your sword like a little loser last I, I have episode. it right next to me. I don't know don't. if you want to see it. <laughs> no, I don't want to see it, John, here. Uh, I don't. But yeah, I, I just realized we haven't done an intro. Welcome back to Strange Flavors. <laughs> <laughs> The strangest and you say the strangest and greatest podcast on the planet. Thank you for listening. Let's go. Let's go. If you guys want to become part of the family, because right now you guys are strangers listening to the podcast, you can join the Patreon. You get a bonus episode. Amber has three crazy stories from the cruise that she cannot say on this episode. She's going to tell it on the Patreon, right? And we're mm-hmm. not lying about that. Um, we are not. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah. Uh, Join the Patreon. You get a bonus episode every single week, and it's great. And then if Love you want to buy some beautiful merch, uh, we have merch in the bio. We figured that all out. So if you're from the UK, you can finally buy some merch, and we will finally have some good profits on that. So Her. we appreciate that. Um, last Sunday was the Super Bowl. and It was the T-Swift. You had... And- Usher. Uh, yeah. You had concert. two you had two predictions. Both of them did not happen. One of <sighs> one of them you thought um Kiki Palmer would show up. I know. <laughs> or you wanted her to show up. And that didn't happen. Yeah. Everyone else showed up except for Kiki Palmer. Or and, Justin Bieber. Oh, he was there, but apparently he didn't want to perform. perform. Yeah. And then um you also said if they won, Travis Kelsey might propose to Taylor Swift. And Honestly, I thought maybe it was going to happen, I was, but it didn't happen. Okay, I have a question, Shami. Yeah. Do you think that if he didn't ruffle up his coach that he would have did it? No. It was a bad look. He couldn't, He there's no way he could perform. They were all tight, though, like at the end. They were all happy. They yeah. Were, like, I don't think his coach has the ability to stop that from happening. For sure. I don't think the coach would would even try to stop him. But I think like PR wise, if I if I was a PR person and I saw that, I would be like, hey, I would maybe hold off because this is going to be convoluted with you pushes. Travis Kelsey proposes after damn near pushing his coach down and yelling in his face. (laughs) Not a good look. Um, Also, everybody's been calling me out on my delusion and saying, Amber, they've only been dating for four months. What are you talking about? And to that, I would say you might be right. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like um, 
I know Taylor Swift does not like Ariana Grande, but I've seen Ariana Grande like marry people like or engage and probably less the time. But uh, we've talked about this many times on the podcast and it seems like Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift are good for each other. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But uh, I remember there was like a TikTok clip where like Travis Kelsey's like yelling and he's mm -hmm. like, yeah. And he's like, you know, trying to hype up the crowd after the Super Bowl win. And then you literally, it, they show Taylor Swift's face and you can kind of see like she had an ick moment right there. <laughs> like, <laughs> and everyone's like, when everyone had the ick for Travis Kelsey. So I'm like, damn. Yeah. Not going to lie. It is a little, it, it does give a little bit of ick energy. Yeah. But at the same time, like that's her man. Stand by him. Um, but speaking of Ariana Grande, she's dating SpongeBob. Wait, what? Ariana Grande. She's, remember, so do you not know the story? SpongeBob. Ariana Grande was dated, so she was married, and she got divorced. She was separated from last January, and she ended up hanging out with SpongeBob from Broadway. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then she, like, he ended up leaving his wife, wife and brand new baby that was born for Ariana Grande. And I know that you had something to talk about SpongeBob and the Super Bowl. That's crazy. I didn't even know that, but that's wild. That. The wildest two, shit. The wildest shit. So yeah, um, I don't know if you knew, but Nickelodeon, I think they signed like a deal with the NFL. And I guess they wanted kids to start watching football. And so mm. while the Super Bowl was happening on like a normal, you know, CBS show or I forgot Fox or whatever, Nickelodeon was also broadcasting the Super Bowl. But they were doing it a little differently. And basically they had the voice actors of SpongeBob and Patrick also commentate over the game so in the voices, yeah yeah it's it's like hilarious and the funniest thing was i regret not watching it on nickelodeon now like I, oh my god you're so right yeah because it was so first of all you get the normal commentary but on top of that like in between you'll get like spongebob commentary and patrick commentary they're probably also dumbing it down a little bit, and I need that. No, 100%. They're basically, so Dora will come up, like, out of nowhere, and she'll be like, this is what a flag means for this face mask. Wait, you're joking. I you're dead literally ass. joking. Deadass. Shamir, that is so iconic. No, it, like, it, it is. And uh, it's, it's amazing, because, like, they dumb it down for kids. They make it more fun. And, like, whenever someone has a touchdown, there's, like, slime all over the, the screen and stuff like that. It's really cool. Uh, it's really cool. Next year, I'm ha holding a Nickelodeon Super Bowl watch party. <laughs> and so, <laughs> you know how sometimes they'll obviously like in the Super Bowl game, they'll show like stars and whatnot. So they had the stars at the Nickelodeon su Super Bowl, but it was a little different. So they had mm. they had Olivia Codrigo. And it was a fish. <laughs> Piriana. Piranha. Oh, like Grande? <laughs> no, no, like Rihanna, but with, like, oh. you know, Piranha, yeah. but it's like Rihanna. <laughs> Rihanna Piranha, got it. Yeah, there's Herring Styles. Herring Styles, that's <laughs> a good one. There's Snoop Fishy Dogfish. That one is, <laughs> why? <laughs> I don't know that one. Snoop Fishy Dogfish <laughs> is absolutely insane, but very much fitting. Okay, this is a good one. Do a flipa. <laughs> that is so good. All right, you you might hate this one or love this one. Megan the Sturgeon. <laughs> Dude, look, look, at, I don't like that look one. at the picture, bro. <laughs> <gasps> like they're actually no. on the screen and stuff. Uh, they have Billy Eilish. That's really good. They have Doja Catfish. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost too obvious, though. Yeah, and they have Shrimpathy Chalamet. That's a little <laughs> offensive. <laughs> but yeah, like, the, the jokes they were making, like, they made a Leonardo DiCaprio joke, like Sp Spongebob did. He was like, oh, 25. Or, like, he said, like, something about that. And he was like, Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> and it was legit, like, I would see clips on, like, Twitter about the Nickelodeon one. So I was like really regretting not watching the Nickelodeon one. Uh, that is so sad that we missed that. But I love that they did it. Yeah. No, honestly, it's smart. And I think any sport, any uh, any sport that like wants like a future and like fan base and whatnot, I, I think football's set for life, right? 
But, mm -hmm. you know, there's like hockey that like most people don't watch, you know, and stuff like that. But if you get kids mm -hmm. to watch it and they like start enjoying it and see their characters on like watching these sports, they'll get into the sport and then eventually become like a fan for life. So, yeah, you know what I think about, you know, how they said this was the most watched Super Bowl in history or whatever. I feel like they probably say that every year, but you know, they said that, right? Yeah. What about the fact that in each screen that is like watching it, there's like 20 people behind it. So imagine if every person was like individually watching it. Yeah. You know? So I'm always thinking about that. I'm like, that number is probably like divided by eight. Yeah. No, 100%. You know? 100%. Because I watched it at a, a little restaurant hookah bar thing, and there was like 30 of us just yeah. chilling, watching it. And I was like, most people are at Super Bowl parties. Yeah. No, that's so. uh What did you think of the halftime show, Ushers? That might have been like on par with Beyonce. Really? That's so funny. Yeah. Yeah. But like the Usher and Alicia Keys, what are your thoughts? <laughs> Well, first, I wanted uh, just overall, I thought it was really good. But mm. then a lot of people, I saw it was divided in half. It was like, people were like, that's one of the greatest Super Bowl halftime shows ever. Other people were like, that was mid. And I realized, mid. <laughs> no, I realized, like, I think it was for millennials and older. Yeah. It was yeah. really for millennials and older. Um, yeah. And so I'm like, and you oh. said it too. You said the kids have been eating. Yeah, the kids have been eating. <laughs> so let us eat now, you know? And uh, I think that was good. I think it served us. I, I think First we were, of all, what? Who's us? Like millennials. Who's us? Speak for yourself. Why? You didn't get served? I'm not a, I'm not a millennial. You're Gen Z? Mm -hmm. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> then you'd be dating that 25 year old guy. Okay, I'm Gen Z in spirit. Don't call me a millennial. <laughs> you, you enjoyed and who knows? I might date him. You enjoyed the Usher show. You're a millennial. I enjoyed the <laughs> shit out of that show. But yeah, it was cool. Like, I'm glad that, you know, he brought all these like different stars and stuff like that. Because I was like, I don't know if Usher has the weight to pull himself, you know? Yeah, but everybody thought that Northwest came out when it was like her. <laughs> oh, okay. Like her, like the artist, Is she the, one with the, the guitar, guitar solo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. I Alicia was Alicia, the girl that I'm staying with. It's also our friend. She, we're in the middle of a restaurant, and she screams out, "Northwest!" No. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> it was just like so funny. And then I went on to, because I thought she was crazy. And then I went on TikTok and so many people thought that that was Northwest. Really? Because that's her like hairstyle. Same hair style, hair style but like she's like taller. She's like moving around quicker. I don't know. Like, I don't know. But yeah. you, you mentioned Alicia Keys and Usher. And I was like, ooh, ooh. Like, I saw so many memes on it. It's like, this is probably what your girl's doing with her work husband. <laughs> yeah, work husbands be like. Yeah, so I don't know. That's, like, tricky. It's like, if you're the significant other of a star like that, mm -hmm. do you get mad at her? Do you get mad at Usher? Like, I don't know what the, you know, deal is. Like, I don't know. If you saw your man, like, doing that, what would you be like? If I saw my man two days after our wedding, because <laughs> Usher got married two days. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right before. So that does change it up a little bit, you know? Um, I still think it would be okay because Usher is Usher. Like, what are you, who are you marrying, you know? Like, yeah. that's just kind of like he has, like, it, I feel like it almost doesn't count when it's Usher. Yeah, because he's like kind of like that guy you know but it's like also it's like that wasn't needed you don't have to do that <laughs> like you don't have yeah, to you caress her to. you know <laughs> yeah i think i think he knows and has noticed that he gets a lot of attention from doing like this type of stuff like that kiki palmer thing did really br like blow up because you know they were like dancing and stuff and then all these clips are going viral of usher at these concerts, like getting super close to these other celebrities and chatting it about and stuff. So I feel like 
he knew that it would get people talking. Yeah. And um, Swiss Beats, which is Alicia Keys' husband, was just like, you guys are talking about the wrong thing. Like, this was a beautiful performance and da-da-da-da-da. And I was like, you know what? That is a secure man, and I think that's so attractive. So he's he's cool with it. A-OK. Oh, then it's, we're all good. We're all good. I did not see, however, the wife posting about Alicia Keys, but I did see that Swiss Beats had posted Alicia Keys, a picture of Usher and Alicia Keys with Usher standing behind him and stuff. But, like, nothing but respect for um, uh, Swiss Beats for just being cool. Yeah. Do do you think Usher was like, hey, I'm about to do this? Like, are you cool with it? Or do you think he just did it, like, on the fly? It was definitely rehearsed. There's no way. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, and like, I will say that that, go- that was a gorgeous red dress and everything and the piano. It was just a whole vibe. So... As much as I like to say it was unnecessary, it did kind of like put it all together. It's just funny because we can all like communicate with each other so freely, like via TikTok, Twitter and all these types of things. So we can all like collectively be like, (gasps) but in like the sense of it being like art, it was done well. Yeah, yeah. hundred percent. hundred percent. Yeah. But yeah, that was our Super Bowl recap. Let us know what you thought in the comments below. So yeah. yeah, you had another story for us. Yeah. So um, I on the cruise was with a bunch of girls. And the last time that I was with this exact group of girls, like everybody who was on this trip was also on a previous trip was in July when we went to BRT, which is a Caribbean festival in Atlantic City. That twerking festival? And again, it's not a, it's a wine <laughs> festival. Okay? okay. And when I say that it was definitely a culture shock. It was such a culture shock, but it was so fun. They really put me on a Caribbean culture. Um, it was just a vibe all together, like through and through. And so I will say that in that event, for some reason, me and my friends put together, I think, hold like this like strong energy. So as we were walking through the event, Guys were like, mine, 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 mine. Like, they were just coming out the woodworks to be like, let me get your number. Like, just, it was so much going on, (laughs) you know? And while we were at this festival, it was, the first day it was cool. People were coming up to us being like, hey, like, I think you're so beautiful. I was like, thank you. And they're like, I'd love to get your number. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm not really wanting to get my number out at this time. And so this had happened, and I am not exaggerating this number, at least 50 times by the time that the end of the day, second day had happened. You got okay? asked for your number 50 times. That's not an exaggeration. And I might be being conservative with that number. Oh, my God. Okay? <laughs> and so, like, you know, because I had, like, my hair all curly. I'm, like, like, taller than, like, just most of these guys probably even. So they're just like what the heck, you know? And then you're like wearing all this, like I wore like, uh, like Indian jewelry cause it was Caribbean festival. So I kind of wore like Indian jewelry yeah. and does, stuff. Does, does this like inflate your ego? Or are you just like, like, are you like, dang, no. like I'm in demand. Like that's crazy. 50 times. Is it weird <laughs> to just be like, it's, I just was like, it was kind of just normal. I was like, okay, cool. Like, yeah. I mean, I don't think it's exactly. weird for you, but like, I just, you know, as a guy, like, you know, guys you would feel like the shit yeah you'd feel like the shit and it's like you guys are probably used to it like as girls right like yeah you probably have to be like avoid it but for guys like we would love that like oh my god 50 numbers like you know well i didn't give my number to any of them but i did give my instagram to a few of them i was like oh like feel free to like follow my instagram what's the like thought process like (laughs) like (laughs) like when someone is like hey can i get your number are you like Mm -hmm. attractive how'd you ask it like what what is the thought process here like versus who gets my phone number versus my instagram versus nothing um so this is a quick evaluation it's just there's no thought it's either yes or no so it's a vibe thing you'd say yeah like like also are they being like (sighs) Like, are they, like, like breathing their breath on me? Like, 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 sliming their cells onto me? Like, yeah. away from me, you know? Or is it, like, suave and then you're, like, all right, you know what? Maybe you get the Instagram. And then if they say, like, another line, it's, like, okay, maybe I'll give you the number. 
Like, if you look like my ex, you get my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. So what, what does somebody have to do to get your number? Because that's like, I feel like nobody gives out numbers hmm. anymore, right? They have to be not like uh, approaching a lot of people and like kind of keeping to themselves. Gotcha. Like the ones who are least loud and least like approaching everybody, they're not talking to any other girl and they're fine. They're kind of have that introvert energy. And then they come up to me and they're like, hey, like, like can I get your number? They, they feel like they selected you and not like other people, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah like, th like this is not something that you're just doing to every pretty girl here. Yeah, yeah. You know, like it's something where you had been like, seeing me seeing that i'm rejecting these guys and you also want to come and see if i'll give you a chance okay fine like yeah maybe you can have my number um so yeah by the end of day two um at this caribbean festival i was done i was tired i was over it my feet were hurting i am just and there's sand everywhere i'm i'm still done at this point shamir and so this like sweet guy comes up to me. He's probably like five, seven. He comes up to me. So, so cute. He's handsome. He's cute. Okay. He's, he's, I feel like if you're shorter than me, I can't say handsome, but. <laughs> you're tall as fuck. He's like... so cute. <laughs> he's so cute. And he comes up to me and he goes, hi how are you like i just think you're really pretty and i was just wondering if i could get to know you can i get your number and i look at him and i go i can literally look over your head why would you ask me that dude you're an asshole dude who am i <laughs> who do i think i am and so when did it hit you where you're like i'm an asshole well so at this point i had just said this and like you just hear like a <gasps> like in the background like <laughs> you need to leave <laughs> and so i was like um and he goes oh sorry um can you still hear me yeah oh sorry technical difficulties um but yeah he was like he was like oh okay sorry i just thought i'd ask and mind you shamir this guy is so cute <laughs> He's cute and if he just happened to be five seven and there's nothing wrong with that at all. So I thought about it, all my friends laughed about it later. They're like, Amber, you're kind of an asshole for that. So um this time, now it's like seven months later, we're on this cruise. And you know when the the lights are off when you're at night and everybody's just kind of exchanging information back and forth. And one of my friends goes, hey, Amber, I have a secret that I've been holding in for a long time now. And I was like, okay, like, what's up? And she's like, do you remember that, like, guy who came up to you and you told him that you can see over his head at the Caribbean Festival? I was like, yeah. She was like, he actually came up to me first and was like, hey, I think your friend is really pretty. Like, do you think it would be a good idea to approach her? And I told him, yeah, I think that she would be okay with it. You should say something. <laughs> Dude. And I was like, you should have told me so I wouldn't have been a complete and total asshole. Yeah. I mean, honestly, that's a mess up on your friend because it's like, you know, if you're applying for a job and you get that uh, endorsement or whatever, I forgot what it's called, but, you know, um, <laughs> yeah, it's like you get into the job quicker. Like they're like, oh, you, you do, you, you know, so she should have done that. Not only do you get into the job quicker, it also increases your confidence about getting the job. Yeah. And I feel like she built this man up and then watched him fall. And she was like, to be fair, I had been witnessing you for the last two days being so nice, calmly rejecting <laughs> these guys. And I had no idea that you were at your wit's end and were going to say that to him. And I was like, oh my God, like, and so now I've been thinking about this gorgeous, cute little five seven man with a bucket hat that I said so rudely that I can see over his head. And if you're out there, I do want to apologize. I'm so sorry you didn't deserve that. And I really and you know what? He's probably married now. <laughs> and good for. I was I was hoping the story would have been like, and then I saw him at the cruise. 
<laughs> <laughs> and he was the guy that <laughs> is 25 i would i would have been like damn that would have been crazy no my friend was like amber i'm just like never gonna tell a guy if a guy comes up to me and asks me should i approach your friend i'm just saying no every time i was like you're doing it all wrong yeah honestly it's her fault it's her fault even though you, like, were, you were mean to the guy even though you were rude it's her fault you know yeah she <laughs> should have been like hey that guy's gonna come over and like say something to you like if you're interested, cool. If not, like, just be nice to him or something. Just be like, hey, heads up. I told that guy that it would be okay to talk. Something. Yeah. So if anything, um, it, this is a this is a note that maybe if you're out there and your friends are single, be a better wing woman. Yeah. Don't be, don't be a wing woman and be ass at it. <laughs> be ass at it. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hilarious. Okay. You so, had some. So, yeah. Yeah. So essentially, you know you know, these last episode, we we're talking about Apple Vision Pros, right? Technology yeah. and stuff like that. So, you know how uh -huh. Apple does these like events where like Steve Jobs comes out. He's like, this is the new iPhone. And like everyone's like, oh, my God. Wow. You know, like they have yeah. like a whole conference. They're standing in front of a stage. So mm -hmm. like the keynote, the keynote event? keynotes events. Yeah. So Apple has a keynote event, but so does Taco Bell. What are you talking about? <laughs> Taco Bell did a keynote event about their all their new products this year. <laughs> it's, what it's, does that even mean? <laughs> literally, they did the same thing. There was a there's people in front of the stage and they're showing the new products and they have a whole <laughs> stage people going like, yes, yes. <laughs> and you know what? I love it. I think it's hilarious. Like, are they like, and this year we're going to bring back the Mexican yes, pizza? Yes, yes. Literally that. <laughs> literally that. And everyone's like screaming. They're like, yes, yes. Uh, Wait, that's pretty iconic. It's iconic. But I also wanted to ask you, like, you're in your health grind, right? Are you a fan mm -hmm. of Taco Bell? Like, do, did you ever like Taco Bell? I'm not really a Taco Bell type of girly. I know some people like die for Taco Bell. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm craving Taco Bell at 2 a.m. I'm like. No, I, but I, I love Taco Bell. I respect Bell. it. I love Taco Bell. And I think like for vegetarians also, like they mm. have all the, they have the same things, but like vegetarian option, which is like one. Is it vegetarian? Yeah, it's beans. But like, is it beans? It's beans. <laughs> <laughs> it, is it and beans? you know, out of all the most fast foods, like Taco Bell is actually one of the healthiest. You're just now literally putting words in a sentence and just hoping they're true. No, no. That is facts. That is facts. You're using facts too late. Over lightly. McDonald's, over Burger King, like over Wendy's, like over all these like other fast foods that have like a bunch of oils. Like Taco Bell has like, you know, it has beans, it has lettuce, tomato, like in most of their products. Yeah, but like so does McDonald's. And not most of their products. They have lettuce, tomatoes, all that stuff. They have the but greasy. also they're like globbing on like sour cream and don't they, doesn't their ground beef like isn't it like a add water and watch it grow <laughs> type of situation? That might be it. Yeah, I don't know. But it is uh, uh, honestly one of the healthiest. But anyways, we'll skip mm -hmm. past that. Um, yeah, they had a keynote event and wow. they they revealed like new menus, new items on their menu. And uh, mm -hmm. so they have like a Baja Blast gelato. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> do, like, do you, do you understand? Like, they have to change their kitchens, like, in each location to do that. Like, I'm pretty sure making gelato is not easy with the stuff they already have. Also, that's, I feel like a Baja Blast is more of a sorbet situation, no? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, I wouldn't know. <laughs> like, I don't know if you want like a fruity ice cream. You would want like a fruity sorbet, mm. like an icy. I think they, the reason they went with gelato, I think for marketing purposes, like gelato is more popular, you know? Yeah, I guess it sounds better too. Yeah. I'm not sure how we, it's like creamy. Okay, I don't know how I feel <laughs> about it, but maybe they have an ice cream machine already. Do they not? I don't, well, they have the, the freeze, freezes, which is kind of like right. ice. An icy. F yeah, icy flavored. Uh, they're dropping a Cheez It Crunch Wrap. <gasps> How? <laughs> so they already have like collaborations with like Doritos and stuff like that, but mm -hmm. uh, they have a Cheez It Crunch Wrap. They have chicken nuggets. 
<laughs> That's not Mexican. <laughs> well, first of all, Taco Bell, I feel like, was never <laughs> truly Mexican, but, you know. Fair point. Uh, but yeah, they're having chicken nuggets. And, uh, hold on, I just want to show you, like, the video. It's like... <gasps> <laughs> like, this is what it looks like. That <laughs> He's, like, crazy. pointing at people and, like, they're showing the videos in the background. Those chicken nuggets low-key look like they slap. They look really good. They have churro chillers. Whoa. I don't know what that is. Cheesy street chalupa. Okay. Uh, oh, that kind of made my mouth water a little. <laughs> Dulce de leche, dulce de leche, Cinnabon yeah. delights. <gasps> oh, fuck me up. <laughs> <laughs> Cheesy chicken crispanada. And then they have like new sauce packets with a new flavor. Wait, is that an empanada with like I think so. Cheese? Yeah. That's so like a hot pocket. Bad. Yeah. Yeah. They sell hot pockets at Taco Bell now. <laughs> But uh, it's just so funny because, like, I think this, it the way that they're marketing it, it's it's just hilarious. And I think Taco Bell's like, they're using the same ingredients, but they're just changing things up. And people, like, love it, you know? That's been Taco Bell from the jump. Yeah. They have three ingredients, and they just switch them around. <laughs> and people they're love like, it. They're like, hey, we have a taco, right? And then they're like, we have a taco in a taco. <laughs> and they're like, ah! And they're like, instead of putting the taco meat on the outside, we're just going to put it on the outside. Like, it's the same exact thing. And even with the Mexican pizza, when, when it was, like, gone and not being sold, people were like, you have all of the ingredients in there. <laughs> just make it, you know? But if somebody has a recommendation about what to get at Taco Bell, maybe I'm just eating it wrong. I think you are. Because there's just so many things. Like, there's things that rotate around and, mm. you know? I think you just have to, like, trial and error yourself. Did you know that you can pay ten dollars a month for Taco Bell that when they have these like deals, and you can pick up a taco every day for thirty days? Oh, I heard about this. I don't know they still do it. My friend did it. She had her. She did it. Her husband did it. Her mother in law did. It, her sister in law did it. And they all did it. And then they would go, and she would have them put in the order from their phone, and she'd pick up like five tacos, and she was pregnant. She pick up like five tacos every single day and just like smash. <laughs> and she's vegetarian. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, I was like, that's kind of fire. Yeah. Well, anyways, guys, it's been about an hour. Yeah. Should we move to the Patreon? We could definitely move to the Patreon. Okay. Everybody, let us know what you thought about this episode. Did you enjoy our conversations? Um, Amber, did you jo enjoy our conversation? I did. I hope the audience did. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully we, we didn't yapping. yap too much. Yeah. That's how it is, you know? That's how it is. Well, hopefully we didn't yap too much. We just sat here in silence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, join us for the Patreon. Uh, we're going to talk more. We have a lot more to discuss. And uh, we'll keep it short and sweet. And uh, yeah. yeah, join us over. We'll be in person next week, too. Yeah, yeah. We should be. And. Join the Patreon because I'm going to talk about the wildest story that we didn't get to cover in this episode. So join me there. I've been gone for two weeks. So, you know, two weeks for me is just a lot because I stay living for the plot. So all, come and join us. All the there. girlies were like, oh, my God, where's Amber, our favorite, you know? It wasn't just the girlies. Be fucking for real because all the guys were like. It was like, the lame hey. ass dudes that were not they on were our great. side. That were not on our side. They're it's supposed to support situation. us. <laughs> they were supporting you, but they just support me more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you on the Patreon or we'll see you next week. Thank you so much. It's been another week. Another flavor. A little less stranger. A little less stranger. We'll talk to you <laughs> we'll next talk time. talk to you next time. <laughs>